What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Elliot Delp and today we are going to be doing a review of this ATN Excite 4K Pro. We're going to do some unboxing, we're going to do some shooting, I'm going to tell you how it works, some things I like, dislike about it, and my overall opinion. So let's get right into this video. said before the intro rolled we are going to be reviewing and unboxing this ATN Excite 4K Pro. The ATN Excite 4K Pro is a day and night rifle scope. Um, primarily used in my opinion for night vision hunting. Okay, That's what most of the people that are after this optic are going for. Now this optic comes with millions of different features that I won't be able to go into detail on every single one of them but I'll give you the overview and what to expect from it in this review. Alright, so the ATN, this one right here is the 3 to 14 version. Okay, I bought this on Amazon.com for $550 plus shipping and handling and tax, of course. So at the end, it ran me about $580, bucks, which is a really good deal. If you look on ATN's website, they have it listed for $699, and that's, that's pretty high on the what you'd pay scale. Um, I know Amazon when when I not when I don't really find it on a good deal it's like six fifty, six hundred. But here recently I saw it at five fifty and I was like I have to pick this up. I have to review it. And I've been looking for some night vision options. Okay. So this is not your traditional night vision. Um, this is digital night vision. So it's a little bit different. Um, I won't go into the big details but this this just uses a camera to pick up the infrared and other night vision does it. Okay. So without further ado, let's get right into the unboxing and as we go over more of the rifle scope, I'm going to go over more of the features that actually come with the scope and actually you can use throughout your whole entire process. So let's get right into the unboxing. So as you can see here we have the Excite 4K Pro. Alright, this is an Ultra HD sensor, can cord in 1080p and uh, is, is a smart optic. So. Um, I'll go into what that means later. So we rotate down. This is the list of features that this optic or this optic provides. Okay, so it's vivid imaging, HD recording, ballistic calculation, dual stream video, which means you'll you can see it on the scope and you can download an app and see it on your phone. Um, recoil activation video, smart rangefinder, a compass, dual core processor share on social media, one shot zero, this is probably my favorite feature, ultra low power consumption, uh, this thing can go like 16 to 18 hours, it's crazy, and profile manager for the different calibers and bullets you'll be shooting through your rifle. Alright, so let's open this puppy up and see what's inside. So when you open it up, you get covering case, which is nice. You have your manual. Manual. So it goes over everything you need to know about the Excite. You have the Excite itself. This thing is pretty heavy. This scope weighs over two pounds. All right, this is this is this is a pretty hefty critter, but. It is an upgrade from the Excite 2, so I have used the Excite 2 in the past, and it is a very heavy scope, and it's just a lot to handle. Okay, this is a very big improvement from that. So uh, we'll go over the different features and what everything does on the scope later. But right, right now we're just going to do the unboxing. So we'll set that to the side. So this is the sunshade. And this is the um, part that goes on the end of your right or end of your scope that allows you to get a better sight picture. Um, I find it useful. A lot of people don't use them, but I think I like it, so I think I might keep that. On. Um, this seems to be the mounting system. So if you have a Picatinny rail piece on your rifle, if you're using the AR-15. Um, it can mount directly to your rifle. Now if you're using a bolt action 
and you have no Picatinny rail pieces, you're kind of out of luck. You're going to have to come up with something. But if you do have Picatinny rail pieces, this is your go-to. So you can have either these two vertical that go straight up, and this one has pick pieces on the side for your light. Or you can have this cantilever looking one, which I like and want to use. And so you get three different options. So this, these two are probably the ones I'm going to be using on my rifle. Um, so I can put the light up here if I ever decide to put the light up here. Very, I have usually put it on the front of my gun, but we'll see. Okay, so let's set this aside. And then last but not least, actually not last but not least, you have your IR light. So like I said before, this is digital night vision. This is not thermal, so you have to have some source of IR illumination, and it's not crazy nice Gen 3 night vision where you hardly need an IR illuminator at all. So you will need an IR illuminator. I have another IR illuminator that I find superior. Um, I've used these ATN IRs before, and aftermarket ones just do better. Uh, ATN makes an upgraded one, which I don't know why they don't send it with the, their with their night vision scope but it's I guess it's whatever um, but that's still nice to have this is your cord for charging your scope and then batteries I assume are for the hour eliminator so let's get the box out of the way um, some notable features that I really like just just from the unboxing everything looks really nice a very nice finish um, one of the features I like on the X site, there is no battery. So like I said, this right here is how you charge it. You don't have to buy batteries. You just plug this up. Now, one thing I am kind of curious about and which I'll, I guess, discuss over time is how that works with my rifle. So am I just going to plug my gun up to the wall? I'm going to be putting this on my Diamondback 6.5 Grindel, primarily for Predator and uh, Hog Hunting. So we'll see how this turns out. Okay, uh, the X Site Two, you just put batteries in it, and then this one, you don't put batteries in it. But it's supposed to have a super long time, so we'll see how that goes. All right, so that's that's something to keep in mind. Um, so yeah, let's go over a little bit of the features on the scope, on the exterior of the scope, and we'll probably switch to some range time where I will go into further detail. So. Let's focus it first. Yes, there we go. So these, this is where your menu is. This is how you power your scope on. This goes left to right on the scope. So when you turn it on, it'll you'll see a menu, and you'll know what I'm talking about. Um, so when you power it on, you rotate it left to right. Okay, up, down. That's all nice. This is how you zoom it. So you see here on the side it says zoom. Turn for zoom. Oh gosh, I'm having an awful time focusing on this stuff. Turn to zoom. So you just rotate this and it'll zoom your X site, which is a lot nicer than the X site 2 and the other sites because this one you just rotate. The other ones you have to click for zoom. I don't like that. All right. So this focusing knob here on the back, this allows you to focus the screen. All right. So when you're looking through the optic, you can focus in on the screen and you can adjust this piece and it'll make it very crisp and clear like the reticle and all that other stuff and then down here the focusing ring is used to focus on your target so when you're looking through the scope and you see your target down range so as you can see we have actually mounted this scope on the rifle since it was on the table um, some things happened in between that time but while Right before we wrap this video up, I would like to take a second to talk about the um, some of the other features on the X site that uh, didn't get brought up in the initial unboxing. So, um, range finding feature, really convenient. Um, you pick your target, you can do two distances, and your X site will actually calculate the range based on a preset height. So right now it's set in for like 5.9 feet. I target what I think 5.9 feet is downrange and it will give me the actual distance from me to the target based on that angle and distance. 
pretty cool. Uh, dual streaming, so you can stream directly to your phone just through the app. Super simple to do. Um, I've done that a little bit with it, and you'll see that in some upcoming videos. But it's really easy to do. You can just look directly at your phone and see what the scope's seeing, which is super convenient. Um, another really nice feature is the ability to add multiple um, bullets to the scope. So the scope can be sighted in for two different rounds, or it can be sighted in for a bunch of different rounds. I currently have this on a 6.5 Grindel, and I have it sighted in for two different rounds. I have it in for an SST and a cheap FMJ Wolf bullet, right? Um, so that's a really nice feature that I like on the x 4K Pro. Another really nice feature is the one shot zero. Um, I mentioned that before in the video that I really like that. Um, and I just want to reiterate on how much I really like that feature on the 4K Pro. Alright, night vision does really well. I'm going to show some footage right now of some night vision of a cat. Uh, this was taken not too long ago and it, was, it does pretty good. Hopefully I want to get a lot more night vision footage and you'll be able to see that in upcoming videos of me testing. Um, I will have a video up on my channel of the whole sight-in process and actually testing the video recording features um, and some night vision shooting. Alright, so stay tuned for that. Uh, this video is basically, like you saw, just a unboxing and initial review and just going over the scope in general. Alright. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, um, I hope it was in informative, and I hope you got a lot from it. So it would mean a lot to me if you would hit that subscribe button down below. We're doing really good on subscribers right now, and um, I just it would mean a ton to me for you guys to help the channel grow some more. Also hit the like button as well. We just launched some merch, so it's linked down in description. Awesome shirts, super comfy, uh, super comfy sweatshirts too, so I definitely think you guys should go check it out and pick up some merch. Pretty cool designs, not just not just a boring t-shirt that has a my logo on it. It's actually got some cool stuff in it. Alright, so that about does it guys. I appreciate everybody for watching and as always, take someone outdoors. I will see y'all next time.